Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and I actually went to a grocery store today. So the past couple weeks have been extremely busy for us, uh, whether it's just running around doing errands, I have work to do, Allison had the flu the week before, so I had been relying on Walmart's grocery pickup for most of my groceries, which means I really hadn't set foot in an actual grocery store to do actual grocery shopping in quite a while. So I was really excited to be able to go to both Aldi and Meyer in one day for our shopping trip. I also visited Mr. Max Grocery Outlet, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. I don't know about you, but one problem that I am having right now is trying to stay under my grocery budget. We have an $85 a week grocery budget and I do really good at staying right around there but my problem is I'm trying to feed my family healthier food now. I'm trying to give us more whole foods and try and stay away from a whole bunch of sugar. I just feel like it's a whole lot better for us health-wise. I've been kind of watching what I eat recently, adding more vegetables and protein, and I feel amazing. So I really want that for the rest of my family. The issue comes when I say, oh, I want this item for Allison's lunch, then I want this for Allison's lunch. Oh, that looks good. And then suddenly, like, I have have no room in the budget for dinner or any other food. So it's really hard to balance that healthy versus the budget versus buying everything when it's on sale so you have a stockpile. Can anybody else relate to me on that? Well, I found a couple of pretty exciting deals today, so let me show you my grocery haul. I decided to take a short trip to Mr. Max Grocery Outlet today to see what was new. Uh, the main reason I went was for these Kodiak cakes. These are the frozen actual pancakes for only $1.25. Um, this has 12 in there, so I bought two of them for my breakfast for the week. And then also Allison wanted some more snack bars. The kids' Lara bars are her favorite, and she likes the mint chocolate. And then also I got a box of the Annie's cookie dough protein bars. They have a chocolate flavored one too, but she likes the peanut butter. Uh, this one... I found and it looked pretty interesting. Uh, these are the bird's eye cauliflower fries. I am trying to get Allison to eat vegetables and hopefully these will trick her into thinking they're french fries. I don't know. She's pretty smart. I also found these Garrett Valley turkey sticks. These are hot and spicy turkey snack sticks and they were only 25 cents. So I grabbed a couple of those for my snacks. I needed some more K-Cups, and they had the Starbucks Blonde Sunrise Blend. I have not tried this yet, so if you have, let me know how it is. And then I found these Quaker Kids Organic Whole Grain Bites. I believe they're just packages of like little cookies maybe, but there's five in here, so for a dollar I thought I'd try it. And then also a box of Barbara's Puffin Cereal for $2. As you can see, most of this was for Allison, but I found a couple new things, some things that she'd enjoy, things that I would enjoy. So overall for about $16, I'd say this was pretty awesome. I am back from Aldi and Meyer. It felt really good to be able to go inside a grocery store and do all my shopping in there, be able to look around. So let me show you everything that I bought. Picked up a bag of a three pounds of red delicious apples. I'll use these like for snacks and desserts. Have some strawberries for Allison's lunch. These were only $1.89 this week, which was awesome. Got some string cheese for her snacks and her lunches. Grabbed a huge pack of cauliflower. I'm gonna roast this up as a side item for next week. I also bought sour cream, jalapenos, and salsa. Where I'm taking that to small group. We're having tacos. I have some olives for a recipe, some yogurt for some snacks, grabbed a bag of spinach, a bottle of hot sauce. I'm making buffalo ranch meatballs for dinner one night this week. Some more half and half. I have bananas, some hummus for Allison's lunch. I bought some pita chips last week and forgot to buy hummus for it, so this is for that a package of ranch seasoning to go with those buffalo ranch meatballs, some dark chocolate chips because we were out. I bought some just plain goat cheese. So I'm gonna be using the goat cheese, the cucumbers, the um, grape tomatoes, and then those olives. I'm making a chicken quinoa, 
like Greek salad, I guess you could call it. So I'm using all of that for that particular recipe. And I bought some turkey snack sticks for myself. Now these buns right here, I don't know if any of you are part of the Aldi Nerd Facebook group, but these people go crazy over these buns. Apparently they are necessary to make the copycat Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I have not tried these yet, nor have I tried that red bag of frozen chicken patties, which I don't think my store had today, but I will let you know how these are. And then I also bought some cottage cheese and then a bag of frozen ber berries. I'm gonna be using these in my pancakes, or on my pancakes. I bought some Kodiak cakes. These will go on top. I'll just defrost them in the microwave. And then a gallon of milk. And then here is a box of mini cheese sandwich crackers. I am making up a snack basket for Allison for after school. I'll show you that here in a little bit, but this is gonna be part of it. So all of that is Aldi. I just went to Meyer for a couple of things. Um, I went to Meyer and grabbed some chicken, um, but not boneless, but actual regular chicken thighs were on sale for 88 cents a pound. And I bought about six pounds worth. So I've got two of them here. I'll probably freeze one package and then the other one, I'll probably cook all of them in my Instant Pot actually. I can link a blog post down below that shows how to cook chicken in the Instant Pot. It's really easy. But part of this is going in that quinoa chicken salad and then I might freeze the rest of it. I also bought some brown rice because we were out and then some toothpaste for Allison she does not like the minty toothpaste because she says it's too spicy. So I had to go out and get her some bubblegum toothpaste. And then some Ar King Arthur flour, the white whole wheat flour. I had a coupon for 75 cents off one. So that made it, I think only $3, which is not bad. So here is my Meyer haul, my entire Aldi haul. I'll be right back with the total. The total for this week was $86.53, which technically puts me over the 85, but I had an overage from last week. I still have like $1.50 left in the budget, so I can buy more bananas or something if I need to. So I promised you that I would show you Allison's snack basket, so here it is. So here's Allison's snack basket. This is something that I keep in the cupboard and she can grab one like in the mornings when it's snack time or after school because she desperately needs to eat something after school. Otherwise she's a monster. This is just a Dollar Tree basket. I think it's a three pack, which is not bad, but I've got all sorts of assorted snacks in here, like some kids lower bars. I have um, the Annie's protein bars some of the Quaker's whole grain bites, these uh, mini cheese sandwich crackers that I just bought, and then just a little bag of popcorn. But like I said, this is in the cupboard for her to grab whenever she wants. I also want to put one in the fridge with string cheese and yogurt and other healthier snacks. That will come later and I'll show you when it comes. But this has helped so much because she can just grab a snack when she wants it. All right, let's go over the meal plan for the week. As you can see, mom ran and got the two days mixed up. So Sunday is actually supposed to be small group. We are having tacos. So like I said before, I am bringing the sour cream, the salsa, and the jalapenos. I'm also making some Spanish rice and some Mexican lentils. I already have the lentils in the pantry. And then Monday, we're gonna have buffalo ranch meatballs. I am kind of cleaning out my pantry and my freezer just to make room for other stuff and save a little bit of money. I've been buying so much stuff from my grocery outlet store. It has been amazing, but I keep forgetting to use it. So I bought the meatballs from there a couple weeks ago and I bought some buffalo, well, hot sauce. I'm gonna mix it up with a ranch packet, probably put it in the slow cooker for a little bit. I am serving this with the Pioneer Woman sweet potato and kale casserole. It's a frozen dinner and I also got that from the outlet store. I really want to know how it tastes. I'm also making some roasted cauliflower to go with it. Tuesday, I am pulling out my last package of Idell's chicken apple burgers. I'm going to have those on those buns that I got from Aldi. We're also serving this with cauliflower fries, which I also got from the grocery outlet store. And then some frozen veggies to go with it. 
Wednesday, I'm gonna be using some of those chicken thighs that I bought. I'm gonna bake them in the oven and I'm gonna serve them with some Annie's mac and cheese I found in the pantry and some frozen broccoli. Thursday is a chicken quinoa salad. It's gonna be kind of like a Greek version. I have quinoa in the pantry, so I'll shred up some chicken, serve that together with the grape tomatoes and the olives, the cucumber. I have some balsamic vinaigrette or vinegar that I'll probably put in there too. And then I'll uh, sprinkle some of the goat cheese on top. That should be pretty good. And then Friday, we're having waffles. I know it's a big change in the pancakes. I haven't made pancakes in forever, to be honest with you and I was getting tired of writing pancakes, so I'm gonna change it up and we might or might not make waffles, depending on how many leftovers we have. And then Saturday will be a leftover night, maybe, if we have a lot of these. Um, if not, I will figure out something. But then that's dinner. As far as breakfast goes, I am eating the Kodiak cakes that I bought at the grocery outlet. I am microwaving some of the frozen berries to put on top, and I'll probably have some cottage cheese to go with it. Um, I just did a freezer cooking session last week, and you guys get to see it here on Friday, so look forward to a video on that. But I made some banana bread baked oatmeal, I made some breakfast pizzas, and I made pancakes. I know I lied, I said I haven't made pancakes in forever, but I did make pancakes for breakfast. I put all of those in the freezer, so we'll just get them out one at a time. And then also some cereal for Allison. And lunch is always leftovers, of course, and I have stuff for Allison for her lunches. By the way, while I was cleaning out my pantry, I also found four, four jars. Um, two pumpkin butter and two apple butter. And I got some really good ideas from my friends on Instagram on how to use them up. But besides like putting them on toast, what ideas do you guys have for using up all this um, fruit butter? I would like to get it out of my pantry as soon as possible and maybe make some good delicious baked goods with it. Hey, let me know. I hope this has inspired you guys with your own grocery budget and your own shopping habits. Hopefully you got some new ideas for dinners or breakfasts. If you like that meal planner that I was using, I've got a link in the description below. It's totally free for you to grab it. Also, I've included any links to recipes down in the description as well so you can check those out. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updated on when I post more grocery hauls, more recipes, and more meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.